An empty shell with human graves. That's how the World Health Organization described the state of Al-Shifa Hospital, once Gaza's largest and most advanced medical complex. WHO staff managed to get access to the site and found partially buried bodies and the smell of decomposition. They say most of Al-Shifa's buildings now lie in ruins and much of its equipment has been reduced to ashes. The team concluded that getting even basic functionality back in the short term seems implausible. An unexpected international dispute is unfolding in Quito. Late on Friday, Ecuadorian police forcefully entered the Mexican embassy to arrest Ecuador's former vice president, who's been seeking asylum there since December. Jorge Glass took refuge at the embassy after Ecuador issued an arrest warrant for alleged corruption, charges he denies. Mexico's president, Andres Manuel López Obrador, called the raid a flagrant violation of international law. Earlier on Friday, Mexico said it had granted Glass political asylum. At the funeral of General Mohammad Reza Zahdi, the highest-ranking commander slain in Israel's bombing of Iran's consulate in Syria on Monday, Iran's Joint Chief of Staff vowed a tough response Saturday. The time, type and plan of the revenge operation will be decided by us in a way that makes Israel regret what it did. This will definitely be done. The president of Cyprus, Nikos Christodoulides, will meet Ursula von der Leyen on Sunday in Athens to discuss the exceptionally difficult situation with the recent surge in migration in the Mediterranean, especially within Cyprus. On Monday, Christodoulides is to visit Lebanon to discuss the same concerns. According to official data from Cyprus, more than 800 people arrived in less than a week, most of them en route from Lebanon. Well, we just had another one. Tonight, we just more aftershocks one. from Friday's historic earthquake are raising new questions and seismic concerns. Dozens of aftershocks reported since the rare 4.8 magnitude tremor that rattled New York City on this Earth Cam shot, along with the rest of the East Coast. The NYPD quickly launching drones to inspect the city's iconic and older landmarks like the Brooklyn Bridge. The head of Zimbabwe's central bank said Friday that the new gold-backed currency will circulate alongside a basket of other currencies. Named Zim Gold or ZIG, it will replace the Zimbabwean dollar which has been affected by depreciation. Zimbabweans have 21 days to convert their old cash into new money. But analysts have questioned whether Harare has enough reserves to adequately back the new currency.